Hello, fifth and sixth grade. This week, you'll research tiny houses and learn why so many people are looking to live small. Then you'll create an infographic to tell others about the popularity of these tiny houses. On the home page, slide down and click Technology. Click Technology. On the online tech page, slide down and pick your grade. Choose either fifth grade or sixth grade. Today's Google Classroom assignment says Hartman Tiny House Hunters. Open the Google slide and work on your tiny house project. To open up your tiny house project, open up your work. Your work is the Google Slides. Click on the Google Slides. Once the slideshow opens up, go to slide five to build your infographic. Right now, slide five is blank, but this is where you're going to do an infographic. But what is an infographic? Well, an infographic is a collection of pictures and charts and minimal text that gives an easy to understand overview of your topic. Well, what's your topic? It's about a tiny house. So over the next two weeks, you will create a tiny house infographic. Let's get started first with a picture. We know that we can add a picture by going to insert, image, and go over and down to search the web. What type of picture are we going to look for? We're going to look for a tiny house. As you scroll down, you can look through all of the pictures that deal with a tiny house. Once you find one that you like, click on it and insert it. You can always resize by pulling the handles on the corner and dragging it in or out. You can keep this picture from the Google search, or you can try another website. I'm going to delete this picture and go to a website called Flat Icon. The link is in the upper corner of your screen. Click on the link for flaticon.com and go to the website. I'm gonna do a search for a house. Type in house, then hit enter. Once the results have loaded, you can slide down to see all of the pictures of tiny houses. All of the ones that have crowns at the bottom are premium pictures. We won't be able to choose those pictures, but we can choose the ones without the crown. Once you find the picture that you like, click on it. If you like the picture, Go to it and do a two finger tap. Slide down to copy image. Then go back to your slideshow. Hold down the control button on your keyboard, then touch V as in victory. And your picture will appear. Again, you can resize your picture by pulling at the handles moving it to wherever you want to be on the screen. Once you have your picture, you might want to change the background. Right now, my background is white, but I might want to change the background to match the image. Take a look at the colors on this image. I want my background to be blue, like this window. To get an exact color from a picture, you can load the Chrome Color Picker 
from the Chrome Web Store. To do that, go to the top corner of your screen. Click on the link, Chrome Color Picker. Then click on the link. This goes to the Chrome Web Store. It's called the eyedropper. I already have the eyedropper installed. You can hit this button to install the eyedropper on your computer. Once the eyedropper is installed, go back to your tiny house slideshow. At the top of your screen, where your extensions are, you might see the eyedropper. You might need to go to the puzzle piece to find all of your extensions. To pin your eyedropper, make sure you select the blue push pin and it will always be pinned at the top of your screen. To use the eyedropper, click on it in the extension bar, then go to pick color from the web page. I'm gonna now select the color that I want. I want the blue. I'm pointing to the blue with my mouse. What that does is it gives me the exact code for that color on my eyedropper. This code is A0D9F2. I'm going to click on it and highlight it. Then I'm gonna copy this color. Hold down the control again, then touch C for copy. Once I have that color copied, I'm gonna now change my background color. To change the background color on this slide, do a two finger tap. Go to change background and go to the color. I can choose any one of these colors, but since I have a custom color, I'm gonna go down to custom. I wanna now paste in that hex code. Hold down control, then touch V. This is the exact color of that window. Now I'll say, okay. Now I'll hit done. That color now matches my picture. You might wanna choose a background that matches your picture. Now that we have a picture and background, what else do we want to share about our tiny house? Let's give our infographic a title. Let's do that in Word Art. Go to Insert, slide down to Word Art. What would be the title of your infographic? What are you going to tell about? I'll talk about why to buy a tiny house. Why buy a tiny house? Then hit enter. Move your word art to wherever you want it to be. I'm gonna move mine to the top of my page. That red bar tells me that it's in the middle of the page. Once I have my word art, I can change it. I can go to Arial and change the font. I can change the color of the inside by going to the paint bucket. Notice my custom color is there since I've already used it. I'll choose a gray. And I'll also make it bold. Very nice. What are the reasons why people buy a tiny house? We've already discussed that an infographic has minimal words. What do we wanna tell our readers about a tiny house? What are the reasons people would buy a tiny house? Or why are tiny houses so popular? Try to write two or three short phrases to support your topic. To do the research, you can read this article that I have marked on this page. It says, read this article. 
click on it. This article is seven reasons why your first home should be a tiny home. Slide down to read about it. You can also open up a new tab and do a Google search for tiny homes and do your own research. Like I said, you want to write two or three phrases that support your topic. Once we have our two or three phrases that we want to write about, we want to put them in our infographic. We might want to use text boxes. Let's go to the text box tool. This is the text box tool. Let's click it to turn it on. Click and hold and drag to make a text box. We can change the color of the text box again by going to the paint bucket. Let's choose a custom color for this text box. Let's go to our eyedropper again. Click on pick color from web page. This time, let's choose the red for the roof. Go and find the hex code. Double tap to highlight. Control C and copy that code. Let's go back to my text box. Click it to highlight it, then go to the paint bucket. Slide down to custom and paste in the hex code here at the top. Hold down control, then touch V. Then click OK. This is now my text box. The color matches the red in the roof of the house. Let's make two more text boxes. Let's copy them. Hold down control, then C for copy. Then hold down control and V. Now we have it pasted in. Let's move it over to the center. Let's make one more. Another way to copy and paste is to duplicate. Hold down the control button, then touch D. This will duplicate the text box as well. That looks nice. I've moved my boxes now so that they are equal distance from the sides and from each other. Now let's write my facts. One reason tiny houses are so popular is because dealing with debt is easier. Let's highlight this by double tapping once again, going to our font and matching the font. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's make it center aligned. What's another reason why tiny houses are so popular? Relocation can be made very easy. Let's highlight the text. Match our font. Bump up our size. And center align. Let's add one more fact about tiny houses. Another reason to buy a tiny house? It's your tiny house. You can design it the way that you want. Let's highlight the text. Match the font. Make it larger. And center align. Our infographic is almost complete. We have a title. We have a picture. And we have matching text boxes. You might want to link your web page that you found your information to your infographic. Let's go back to where I found my information. Seven reasons why your first home should be a tiny house. This is where I found my information. I want to link it to my infographic. Let's highlight the URL. Again, we're going to copy it. Hold down control and touch C. Go back to your infographic and select your picture. Maybe your picture will be the link to the article. Click on it 
Then go to the Insert Link button. Then Paste. Control-V. Then hit Apply. If anybody clicks on your picture, they'll go to that article where you found your information. If you need multiple links, each one of your text boxes can also be a link. Click on your box, then select your link. Last thing that you want to do with your infographic is say who designed it. You're the designer of this infographic. So let's put your name in a text box. Designed by Mr. Scotchless. Highlight the text, change the font. Maybe this time it'll be smaller. And I'll align this time to the right. There is your tiny house infographic. Nice job. If you need another example, click here for an example of one that I did this summer. Remember, Mrs. Sturgeon and I will always be available to you in a Google Meet. Feel free to join that Google Meet to ask any questions that you might have. Over the next two weeks, you'll finish all of these slides on this assignment. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.